Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the star line by two parts of an upcoming murder mystery on BritBox. One, a talented actress seen in Blue Story and Wannabe. The other, the Jamaican-born lawyer, author, and creator of The Confessions of Franny Lincoln. We welcome Carla Simone Spence and Sarah Collins. Hello. Friends, let's go beyond the mic. The Confessions of Franny Lincoln has everything. A murder mystery, court drama, and a period piece currently loved by society. But which part, Carla Simone, grabbed you when you started to read the script? Oh, the fact that she's a Jamaican woman in a period drama was just, like, incredible to me. Something that's, like, unheard of. Uh, my family's Jamaican, so it really was something special. Um, yeah, and just the fact that it's her story, you know, you're following her incredible journey. She has an incredible character arc as an actor. It was just a dream um, to be able to play, and there's just so much to Franny. Um, that you can play around with. Um, Yeah, I I enjoyed every minute and I'm just really happy that Sarah um, created Franny and created the story because it is a really incredible one. Sarah, this is your baby. (laughs) How did the final production take what you envisioned in your mind in the black and white pages of a book to reality? And how did that make you feel? It's a really surreal experience. I'm not sure that I've quite come to grips with it yet, but it's um, the... Predominant emotion is pride. I feel incredibly proud and also hugely privileged that I was able to envision this black Jamaican woman, as Carla Simone says, in a space where there had never been room before for her before and translate that with the help of this exceptional cast and crew. You know, when I stand back and look at it, I think it's a really incredible accomplishment. It's a really incredible opportunity to have been given. And I'm glad we open those doors together and walk through them. You know, it will, Franny will live forever on screen, I hope. And it's something that I would have loved to see growing up and that it's very special to be a part of now. Why has the past been such a goldmine for lost stories like this? The 1800s was such a vibrant time. I mean, I think part of it is that we look to the past because we're on a mission to understand ourselves, right? So part of it is, it's almost like detective work into where did we come from? Who did we come from? What were they like? How were they were how were they different from us? And how were they the same? There's that fascination. But also for me personally, I think on the surface, it's just so glittery and compelling. You know, we've got carriages and balls and fantastic gowns and hairstyles and the curiosity factor of unveiling and unwrapping the mysteries of how people lived and, you know, beneath the glamour, this really seedy, equally compelling underbelly of addiction and, you know, uh, brothels and drug taking and um, importantly, slavery as well, which um, is a big part of British and I know American history and forms an important past, part of the past. So there's like a serious attempt to grapple with who we are, what mistakes we've made, what's formed us. And also this really entertaining kind of journey into a world that's just completely different from our own. Carlos Simone, how do you take the responsibility of taking over Sarah's world? I mean, after you read the script of Franny and bring it to life. Well, I've been waiting for a very long time for a role like this to come by. So I was so ready for it. I, when it came, I was just just eager to start, really. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's an incredible character. Franny, um, I was in awe when I read the novel. You know, she just she's just incredibly witty. And, yeah, I love her so much. Like, I see her as a real person. Um, so, yeah, it was just... It was it was great. I, I loved every moment of it. I, I got to embody a complete different person to myself, and I got to transform into an incredible time period. Um, you know, with the ball gowns and the corsets and, and the sets. Everyone did an incredible job, and yeah, I'm really proud of it. Carlos Simone, how long did it take you to read the book? Oh, a few days. You know, I, I, if I'm I can read the book if I'm really in it. I can get through it really quickly. And yeah, Franny's journey was just incredible. And um, you get to hear like her, um, read her backstory in Paradise, Jamaica, where she grew up. And yeah, you're, you're just, it's from her perspective. So you're just in it till the end. And really, yeah, 
I just sat there. I remember when I finished it, I just sat there in silence for a bit. <laughs> so it's just, yeah, a really good read. It's exactly what I did when I finished watching the show because I was just so <laughs> mesmerized by Carla Simone's performance. I sat there in silence for quite a bit as well. Carla Simone Spence and Sarah Collins from The Confessions of Franny Langton joins us beyond the mic for The Rocking Eight. Friends, it's just eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. There is no pressure. Since we have two guests, we'll alternate questions starting with Carla Simone. Most memorable present ever given? In my life? In your life. Oh, God. The most memorable present that I've been given in my life. Um, I'd say I have this necklace, um, but it wasn't... The necklace itself was given to me by my, by my great-grandma before she passed. And two rings that I wear on the necklace is from my grandmother, but she didn't give it to me. So it was still a gift and it's hers. We'll We'll get to thievery in a second. Sarah, what time period would you rather live in? 1800s or now? Oh, God, now. I mean, I'm a black woman. Time travel is not for me. Time travel is hazardous (laughs) to my health. (laughs) That was an easy one. (laughs) (laughs) Carla Simone, what's the one thing you took from the set? Uh, Just the fact that. It, it was a, a massive boost of self-confidence to know that I'm, I'm able to lead it. No, 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 no. What's the one thing you took from you the set? Oh, you want me to? Oh, no, I'm not saying. I may have taken something, but I'm not admitting to that. <laughs> Let's just say it was it was a great, a great thing. <laughs> He's not going to admit it. Sarah, what's the favorite thing from being a lawyer? Oh my God. Oh my God. You put me on the spot because I hated all of it. I mean, okay. Okay. I know it was the outfit. It was the outfit. I, I used to wear some killer suits and back in those days I could actually also wear stilettos. So nice. the outfits, but that's it. The rest of it was pretty damn miserable. Carla Simone, who is your dream co-star? <laughs> oh, Marina Davis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, where is the best place in the Bahamas to relax? The Bahamas? Um, well, I mean, I'm not... Have I been to the Bahamas? I've been to Nassau, but nowhere else in the Bahamas. So where was your favorite place in Nassau? Um, Nassau was not very relaxing. Please don't come for me, Nassau. <laughs> <laughs> Carla Simone, your character is addicted to laudanum. What are you addicted to? Oh, potatoes. Potatoes? Really? really? I love potatoes. That is I so random. Them. I know. I love them. They, they can be cooked in any form and they're amazing. Somebody get that girl some french fries. Sarah, which book is the last one you've read? <laughs> um, the last book I read is called Maps of Our Spectacular Bodies, and it's by Maddie Mortimer, and it's brilliant. It's about a woman's terminal cancer diagnosis it's fiction and that sounds really depressing but it's actually beautifully life-affirming it's time for two big questions with carla simone spence and sarah collins from the confessions of franny linkedin beyond the mic sarah as people watch this show what do you want them to feel Oh, well, first of all, I just want them to be gripped. I want, I love the feeling of being lost in a story and being compelled to keep going with it so that you figure out what happened next. I I want that feeling for viewers. I worked hard to try and put it into the screenplay. And I think the cast did an exceptional job of conveying that. So that first and foremost, and then I want them to be kind of left thinking about love, you know, love in all its forms. It's something that's really important throughout this piece. Um, uh, Friendship maternal love obviously the hot kind of passionate love affair and ultimately self-love you know acceptance of yourself and knowing your own worth carla simone as you watch the final cut what emotions were going through your mind um, everything i just yeah I, would, I sat there in silence again um yeah just overwhelmed overwhelmed i'd say and yeah incredibly proud yeah, what we've all done. Carla Simone is addicted to potatoes. Sarah used to rock some killer stilettos. <laughs> they both want you to watch The Confessions of Franny Langton on BritBox. Carla Simone Spence, Sarah Collins, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank this you. was so much fun. Thank you. And that, my friends, is a Beyond the Mic Shortcut. <laughs> <laughs>